So let's go ahead and open this sashimi up. Just like that. Just a little dip. You don't want to dip too much because you still want to taste the fish. Whoa. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's excited. Let's try this out. Oh, that's amazing. Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be trying out something really crazy. I recommend you stay and watch this whole video because this has never been done before. And I've been searching about this on the internet and on YouTube, but I can't find anything about it. So today we're going to try it out and that is feeding the arowana in this tank. Where is he? I think he's in that corner over there, but we're going to be feeding him some salmon sashimi. So I'm walking to the supermarket right now and um, the reason why I want to try this is because I haven't seen any videos of it being done and I, I just wanted to know like will will an arowana or will any kind of fish eat salmon and um, It's just Something that's been on my mind. So I want to try this out. Hopefully the arowana goes for it I've seen people feed their fish shrimp tilapia squid mussels but I've never seen like sashimi, salmon or tuna or whatever. So I want to try that out and see if they'll go for it. Maybe the reason why people don't do it is because it's unhealthy. I'm not too sure. Is it too fatty or something? Um, I'm just going to try out a little bit and see how it goes. Damn, so $12.50 for a packet of salmon like that, that's pretty expensive, man, but um, I'm going to be eating like 97% of that, maybe a little bit for the arowana, see how he likes it, and I'm going to be having a really nice dinner tonight. So I'm finally back home. I've got my breakfast for tomorrow right here. Check this out. My green bananas. I'm going to wait for them to turn a little more yellow, and then I've got some fruit cake right here. Man. I love fruitcake. And this is my dinner for tonight. And I'm gonna share some with the uh, arowana. And $12.50 for that, that is crazy, but but I think it's worth it. So it's getting pretty dark outside now, and I think I'm pretty lucky. I just made it home in time. Check this out. This is the little island of Singapore, and I'm where that blue dot is, and all that red stuff, that's a huge thunderstorm coming my way. So I'm glad I made it home in time before that thing hits us. A few moments later. All right, so it's 10 past six. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my meal, which is salmon, and give some of that to the arowana. So let's go ahead and get that out of the refrigerator. I kept it in here because you wanna keep it cool. Any type of raw foods you're dealing with, you don't wanna leave it outside sitting around because it's gonna go bad. All right, so let's go ahead and open this sashimi up. Just like that. And check that out. This is so beautiful. Looks so good. And uh, I don't know what that fake flower is all about, but I'm not going to eat that. And I'm probably going to take some of the salmon for this side for my arowana because there's some wasabi that dropped off over there. So I don't want to feed my arowana wasabi. That's too risky, man. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands first. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my little scissors and get a bit of this this piece right here and just cut it off. Just like that. We're only gonna do a little bit because I don't want to risk anything. And this might be too risky already, I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think about doing this. Feeding your fish salmon sashimi. And I don't know if I should wash this. You know if you if you feed prawns and stuff you usually wash it. So I'm gonna wash this. Alright, so give this thing a a good little rinse. So you, you can see all those those white stripes. I think that's the, the fat of the salmon, so maybe it's a good idea not to feed too much of this. So now what I'm gonna do, just drop that in there and I'll cut that up. So maybe Look at that, that's a good size. So maybe this is like a treat for the arowana, you know? I've never seen anyone feed sashimi to their fish. So this is about the size I usually cut um, my arowana shrimp. 
I cut it up pretty small so that he can eat it up pretty easily. So just like that, now let's go ahead and get to that exciting part. Transfer the salmon into this little cup. I'm gonna do one piece at a time and see see if he'll even go for it. What if the angelfish eat this? Alright, so let's, oh look at him, look at him, he's excited. Let's try this out. Oh! He went for it. Okay, he's chewing it, he's chewing it. Sorry about the glare there, I'll turn off the light in just a moment. I think he ate it, that's amazing. Alright. Alright, now for the second piece. I've turned off all the lights so that there's less glare. You can still see my other fish tanks over there, but um, let's go for the second piece right here. Oh my goodness! Man, he is super fast onto that. That is amazing. So that was pretty cool, the arowana likes it quite a little bit, so let's let's try and feed. I still have a few pieces left. Let's try and feed this to some of the cardinal tetras, let's see if they'll go for it. I should cut this up into smaller pieces, but let's just drop one in there and see how it goes. They all avoid it. Alright, so this is probably a pretty bad idea, but I just pulled that piece back out of the tank and I cut it up into smaller little bits right here and let's see if the cardinals will eat it now. So just shake it in there. And yeah, now they're going for it. Oh, look at that. Got a few more little chopped up ones. We're gonna try to feed the jungle tank. Let's see how it goes. Oh, so the German blue rams are onto it fast. Look at that. The Siamese algae eater got it. Oh, the white clouds. Man, the white clouds are excited as well. I'm really loving the way this tank is turning out. It's just looking so good. <laughs> Alright guys, now it's time for me to have some of this delicious looking salmon. Let's try it out. So I'll start off with a piece, the leftover piece from the arowana. Um, I had it with some wasabi. Comment down below, wasabi or no wasabi? And then, just a little dip. You don't want to dip too much because you still want to taste the fish. Whoa, that's delicious. So no one knows the exact reason why arowanas get drop eye and drop eye is when the arowana's eye kind of like faces downwards and it's not really nice to see that. So um, people want to try to prevent that as much as possible and I think fatty foods some people say is a cause of that but it, it's not 100% sure. Um, like no one knows the exact cause of it as I just said. But um, some people say feeding too much feeder fish like goldfish is not good for them because goldfish is not nutritious at all and it's very fatty. Um, but I'm not sure, I'm just definitely not gonna feed this ever again. But he did enjoy it, so that's pretty good. Once in a lifetime thing, I think. That is totally worth the $12.50. So that was really interesting and hopefully my arowana is all right after that small amount of salmon sashimi. If you're new to this channel, definitely hit the red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.